good day to the Honourable Judges, presenting you our project, Net Pots for Seedling Planting. And I am Siti Nur Ais Habinti Azhari. We are from SMK King George V. And I am Siti Sara Elisha Binti Jalil. Firstly, Introduction Problems with polyethylene bags or plastic planter. Firstly, it is non-biodegradable. Instead, it undergo photodegeneration or process of breaking into smaller toxic particles. Next, it gives harmful effects. Plastic are carcinogenic and plastic also promotes endocrine disruption. Besides that, polybags can cause stress to organism. Animals that eat the small particle often choke to death. Moreover, plastic planter act as pollutants. These bags are responsible for the clogging of drainage system. It also pollutes the air as burn bag produce toxic fumes into the air. Last but not least, polybag can cause burn roots. This is because during transplant, seedling root is damaged. Ladies and gentlemen, let's now focus on the objective of our project. Firstly, to develop biodegradable pots that are intended to be planted in the soil together with the plant. Furthermore, to reduce the amount of pollutants caused by one-time use plastic polybags filled with chemicals. Other than that, biodegradable pots are used for a short-term pre-production and also are expected to reduce transplant shock. Last but not least, to make use of abundant wood waste produced by factories in Malaysia. Ladies and gentlemen, let's check on the materials used. Materials, sawdust and natural glue. Sawdust. The sawdust that we use in this project is collected from dust of cutting board in the workshop at Frame making it recycle or reuse material. The sawdust is then processed in refinery machine until there is a fine and sandy consistency. Making of natural starch. First step is scooping of 4 tablespoons of tapioca starch. Then add some distilled water. Next, stirring process. Then, heat the starch for 45 minutes and let it cool down for 15 minutes. There is our final product. These are methods on creating our prototype. We weight the sawdust precisely to 80 grams to mix it with the starch adhesive that was made from one part of starch and two parts of water. After mixing the sawdust with the starch adhesive, metal peel is used as a mold for creating the part. The mixture is then placed inside the inner part of the peel to replicate a part shape. The pots are then dried in a 60 degrees oven for a solid of 24 hours. Some samples are also made in a rectangular shape to get the suitable ratio. The final product of the dried pots are as shown. Ladies and gentlemen, let's now take a look at tests that we have done. Firstly, strength test. This pot can withstand 1 kg of weight. The next test is pot lifespan. Experiment is carried out to check the state of pot after several days being watered with 200 milliliters of water per day to each plant that is plant 1 and plant 2 that has the same seed, chili seed, but placed in different areas with different exposures to sun and rain. This table shows cost comparison of polybags or pots. We can see that the cost to produce nut pots for seedling planting is lower than plastic flower pot plant nursery flower pot and biodegradable farm greenhouse seedlings nursery cup. Dear Honourable Judges, let's take a look at the results. As presented, this is the result of strength test of the pot. The pot can withstand weight from 200 grams to 1000 grams. This is the result of pot B that was placed fully outside. On the first five days, the pots are still strong, but there was no growth at all for the plant. On the seventh day, we can see shoots are almost visible, but the pot is starting to become mushy as it has high water absorption. On the ninth day, there was no further growth for the plant. Small pieces of the pot is starting to break down. On the eleventh day, the plant stopped growing. The pot also broke down fully. This is because there was high exposure to water that is rain as it was placed outside. Now let's take a look on the results of pot A that was placed in a shady area. 
on the first five days, the pods are still strong, but there were no growth for the plant. Shoots starts to visible on the seventh day, but the pod is starting to weaken. But it doesn't get mushy as how pod B was. On the ninth day, shoots are still growing, and pod is starting to get mushy at this point, as higher amount of water is being absorbed. On the eleventh day, seedling starts to show. Small pieces of the pot starts to break down as there was really high amount of water being absorbed. Presenting you the weekly result of pot A that was placed in a shady area. On the second week, small pieces of the pot keeps breaking down, but seedling keeps on growing. On the third week, seedling has formed a small plant. Small pieces of the pot continues to break down. On the fourth week, plant keeps on growing. But bottom part of the pot has starting to become smushy as there was really high absorption of water. On the fifth week, chili tree is starting to form. The bottom part of the pot that was smushy is now dry. Pot now maintains its shape. On the sixth week, chili tree keeps on growing. Small pieces of the pot starts to break down again. On the seventh week, chili tree is now visible, but the pot has broke down completely as it has the highest amount of water absorption at this point. Figure shows pot A two weeks after seed germination, three weeks after seed germination, and two months after being placed outside without the exposure of rain. Next, figure shows pot B directly after seedling is planted and after two weeks where pot B begins to break down. Pot C placed in the soil two weeks after seed germination. Three weeks after being placed in the soil, pot C slowly breaks down. Graph shows the height of plant versus days comparing pot A, pot B and pot C whereby pot A and pot C has the tallest height of plant. Now, I will discuss the results. Strength test. Net pots are very strong as they can withstand 1 kg of weight. Next, pot's lifespan. Pot A is stronger than pot B. Pot A can stand longer than pot B because pot A is not exposed to rain. While pot B begin to break down because it was placed outdoor with rain exposure. The pots break down slowly as it expands and become weaker. Less Lastly, pot C. Pot C function well as pot C break down in the soil which makes the root able to sprout and give nutrients to the plant itself. Ladies and gentlemen, let's now discuss about the cost comparison. As a result, cost of producing the product was low as we use recycled material and starch as a natural strengthener. The usage of sodas adds value to the byproduct and also decrease the abundant amount of disposals. The pots can withstand high mass, but they have low tolerance of water, which makes the pot more likely to break down before it can be transferred to the soil. Ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the conclusion of this project. Pot's lifespan. Normally, chili seed takes up to 60 days to fully grow, and the germination of rubber seed too will take up to 2 weeks. Oil palm needs 120 to 150 days of germination before being planted within the soil, which makes the pot itself incompatible with the plant. To overcome this issue, we propose to make multiple types of pot with different lifespan to suit the requirement of each plant and seedling as a future project. The pots can be made by adding other recyclable composts such as coconut husk, empty fruit bunch of oil palm, and any other natural waste. Thank you for lending us your ears. Lastly, net pots a solution for the environment.